Good morning. It's time for another hashtag 50 gone by 2024. Let's start with the medical disclaimer. Always check with your physician before starting any exercise program, any diet program, or any supplement or nutrition plan. Information here is my own personal research into different health topics and is not to be considered medical advice. All right, today I had someone ask me a question, send me a question, about some of those things, you know, like uh, I guess Reba McIntyre has a keto gummy out there that's supposed to do all this miraculous weight loss and all these other things. So what I'm going to start with is an article from, I believe it's Discovery Magazine, supposedly on the top 20 or top 10 gummies, weight loss gummies. And then we'll discuss a little bit further about that. All right. So I thought, like I said, I would start out talking about this just because I found it interesting. I've never tried the weight loss gummies. Maybe some of you have, but whatever. Losing weight can be a difficult task. It takes a lot of hard work, dedication, and time. However, sometimes you need a little help to get over the hump. If that's the case, you might want to try these weight loss gummies. And these are supposedly the top 10 gummies of 2022. So, what are weight loss gummies? Weight loss gummies are supplements that are designed to help people lose weight. They typically contain ingredients like collagen, fiber, probiotics, and or apple cider vinegar. How do weight loss gummies work? Well, actually, there's no one-size-fits-all answer to that question. As to the way the weight loss gummies work will vary from person to person. However, most of the supplements work by helping to suppress the appetite, boost metabolism, and or promote weight loss. Most weight loss gummies are safe to take, but it's always important to read the label carefully before taking any supplement. If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to speak with your health care professional. As always, the benefits of weight loss gummies. There are many benefits to taking weight loss gummies. Some of the most common benefits include increased metabolism, oh, suppressed appetite, Gummies help suppress appetite by containing ingredients like collagen, fiber, probiotics, and apple cider vinegar. Those ingredients work together to help the body feel fuller for longer, which can help reduce overall calorie intake. Additionally, many of these ingredients, ingredients have been shown to promote weight loss. Better digestive help. Health. Help. Weight loss gummies can help improve digestive health in a few ways. First, they can increase the amount of fiber that the body consumes. Fiber is essential for good digestive health, and many weight loss gummies contain high levels of fiber. It can help reduce bloating and gas. So, um, and probiotics are good for your gut to begin with. So, probiotics are beneficial bacteria that help support gut health. Finally, many weight loss gummies also contain apple cider vinegar. And apple cider vinegar has been shown to improve digestive health. So what are the top 10 weight loss gummies? Let's go into those. Now, according to Discovery Magazine, <sighs> these were selected by the customers. <laughs> according to their quality, effectiveness, and their customer satisfaction. The number one one was Elm and Rye Fat Burner. 
Fat burners or pills are designed to help you lose weight by increasing your metabolism and assisting in the burning of fat. There are several different fat burners on the market, each claiming to be the finest, but this was the top pick. You'll enjoy an increase in energy, a boost in metabolism, and increased calorie burning. All right, the next one is Penguin Full Spectrum Gummies. Whenever I see that, I think of CBD. Okay, who knows? Um, these contain a blend of ingredients that work together to help suppress appetite and promote weight loss. Um, Penguin Full Spectrum Gummies are gluten-free and vegan-friendly and making them a great choice for those who have Dietary Restrictions Everest Delta 8 Gummies Those help boost your metabolism, suppress appetite, and promote weight loss. They contain a blend of ingredients that have been shown to be effective in those areas. I don't know where they're getting this. Effective. Batch CBD Gummies are made with a premium full-spectrum extract that helps reduce appetite and enhance relaxation. This helps especially with anxious eaters who can't seem to break their eating habits. Each batch gummy contains 25 milligrams of full-spectrum CBD and it's formulated with high... Excuse me. And formulated with high-quality natural ingredients. Now this one, you see everywhere, Hydroxycut. It's popular because it has caffeine and other ingredients designed to help increase your metabolism and promote weight loss. It's a great choice for people looking for an energy boost to help them with their weight loss goals. However, it's important to note that Hydroxycut should not be taken by pregnant women or people who are sensitive to caffeine. That would be a lot of people who have heart issues. <laughs> Diet Works Thermo Gummies. Some of, I'm going to tell you, most of these I have never heard of. Like Hydroxycut, Diet Works Thermo Gummies contain caffeine and other ingredients designed to help increase metabolism. Blah, 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 blah. Then there is Diet Works Appetite Control. This supposedly helps control your appetite. And those gummies have an ingredient called glu glucomannan, which has been shown to help be effective in controlling hunger and cravings. Then there is FOCL's Premium Full Blend CBD Gummies. <laughs> and the reason people like this one is because they taste great. And, of course, they've got that CBD in each gummin, gummy. Uh, they come in all kinds of flavors, like sour watermelon, mandarin orange, tropical punch, all kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> then there is Nature's Craft Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies. This is a lot like the Goli gummies that you'll see everywhere. <laughs> I'm not real sure why apple cider vinegar works. There are a lot of people that swear by it. I've never tried it. It's interesting. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Then there is Kaya Naturals apple cider vinegar. And of course, again, it's that apple cider vinegar. Who knows why it works? Supposedly, it has all kinds of health benefits. Who knew? And then, of course, you know, there are those people that will drink their apple cider vinegar in the morning with a little dash of honey. So, whatever. Do the CBD gummies actually work and help with weight loss? This is antis ant antidotal, which means it may be just a placebo effect. That CBD gummies do help with weight loss, but there's no scientific evidence to support the claim. However, CBD has been shown to have a variety of other health benefits, so it might be worth looking at if you have other issues. It is known to help relax and reduce stress, which 
can always lead to weight loss. So there are some things to consider if you're going to be looking at those things. Um, the potency of them. And do you think you really need them? I'm really, you folks need to really invest in looking closely into these things. Many of them contain, contain herbs. And lots of times it's the herbs that's actually working on you to help you feel fuller and also give you vital nutrients that your body may be missing. They also have a lot of... Um, natural extracts as well as vitamins and minerals and those are important when you're losing weight as well so they may or may not work but you know check into them if you're really looking for those um, a lot of these claim to limit your fat intake uh, reduce your appetite give you a feeling of well-being well it's cbd why wouldn't it right um but as always consult your physician but, here's what I found interesting during this article. There are some additional ways you can do when taking weight loss gummies to help boost your fat burn. Cut out processed foods from your diet. Eat smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day. Drink plenty of water and avoid sugary drinks. Get active and exercise regularly. Avoid eating late at night. Make sure you're getting enough protein and fiber in your diet. Stay positive. Well, you know, if you're doing those things, you're probably going to lose weight to begin with. So, yeah, it's very interesting. Now, apple cider vinegar is supposed to be a natural appetite suppressant. I found that interesting. <laughs> It also helps you reduce water retention, bloating, and constipation. And it can increase your metabolism and promote healthy digestion. So, those are some things to look at. Now let's look at some possible side effects. You know there's going to be some. You know, there's got to be. Dry mouth, headache, nausea, constipation most everything you ever take. If you choose to use these and you experience those things, discontinue and talk to your physician. Also, talk to your physician if you are pregnant or breastfeeding before you even take them, if you're going to choose to do it. Now, supposedly, if you take these as directed, they are safe. But once again, there's always the possibility of side effects. Um, it, most of the ingredients in those weight loss gummies um, are typically a mix of herbs, vitamins, and minerals. And you're going to see some of these um, common ingredients in a lot of them, like Garcinia Cambogia, Chromium, and Green Tea Extract. So, they don't know what the exact mechanism of these are. Supposedly, it helps reduce appetite, promotes weight loss through the blend of herbs, vitamins, and minerals. So, always double check with your physician before you start one. Read the labels carefully. Make sure you understand if you have a caffeine sensitivity. Which of those ingredients are high in caffeine? Most of us have cell phones. If you're at, at the store, you're looking at them, you can look up those ingredients and see if they contain a high amount of caffeine. Okay, according to the Mayo Clinic, dietary supplements for weight loss, do they work? The promise of Fast weight loss is hard to resist, but do weight loss supplements lighten anything but your wallet? And are they safe? You knew I'd come back with something, right? 
Dietary supplements are sold as health aids. They're taken by mouth. Common ingredients are vitamins, minerals, fiber, caffeine, herbs, and other plants. Some of the most popular supplements claim to improve nutrition, boost energy, build muscle, or burn fat. These dietary supplements are not medicines. They aren't meant to treat or cure disease. Companies that make supplements are responsible for the safety of their products. They must ensure that their products are free of contaminants and that they are accurately labeled. Oh, boy. Dietary supplements don't require, 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 it's a hard word this morning, don't require approval by the U.S. FDA. Think about that. But if its supplement is found to be safe, then the FDA can issue warnings and ask that it be withdrawn from the market. The FDA can also take action against companies that make false or unsupported claims to sell their supplements. You might be surprised to learn that the makers of dietary supplements rarely carry out clinical trials. That's part of the reason why there's little scientific evidence to show that weight loss supplements work. For example, raspberry ketone is marketed as a clinically proven weight loss product. That, that claim is only supported by one clinical trial. The trial included 70 adults with obesity. All were placed on a restricted diet and exercise program. They were then randomly assigned to receive either a placebo or a supplement containing raspberry ketone, caffeine, bitter orange, ginger, and garlic root extract. The 45 people who completed the trial all lost weight. The average weight loss in the supplement group was 4.2 pounds. The average weight loss in the placebo group was 0.9 pounds. While these results are intriguing, the fact that the trial was small and lasted only 8 weeks means the results can't be reliably generalized to real-world situations. And importantly, a short trial like this may miss many side effects that only become apparent with long-term use. In addition, the trial used a supplement that contained multiple ingredients, so it's impossible to tell which ingredient was responsible for the weight loss. And here's another factor. Perhaps the person that lost more weight actually restricted their dietary needs a little bit more and did more exercise. You don't know because you don't get to see that trial. So, ideally those initial results would be tested in a much longer trial involving hundreds of participants with careful monitoring for side effects. Results from such a trial would allow for an informed decision about the safety and effectiveness of such a product. Until such trial data is more readily available, claims regarding dietary supplements and weight loss should be treated with caution. Understanding the safety concerns. A product is not necessarily safe because it's natural. Though rare, some dietary supplements have been linked to serious problems, such as liver damage. Supplements can have a strong effect. Ephedra, muhong, is a herb once used for weight loss. It is now banned by the FDA because it was associated with adverse effects, such as mood changes, high blood pressure, irregular heart rate, stroke, seizures, and heart attacks. Some weight loss supplements have been found to contain hidden ingredients, such as prescription drugs that may be harmful. 
So research before you buy if you choose to buy. It's important to do your homework if you are thinking about trying a weight loss supplement. Check credible weight size wet web sites such as those run by the U.S. Office of Dietary Supplements and the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health. Also, before you take any supplement, talk to your doctor. That's especially important if you have health problems, take prescription drugs, and are pregnant or breastfeeding. So there you have it. Um, it's up to you. Choose wisely, but do your research. Make sure that uh, it is a safe supplement if you are choosing to take those supplements um, because it can do damage to your body. And liver damage is serious. Um, it can give you cirrhosis of the liver because that means your liver is dying. All right, guys, that is it for today's uh, hashtag 50 gone by 2024. I will see you again soon. Everybody have a blessed day. Remember, be kind to one another. Love one another. By all means, love yourself. Get out there and see this big, beautiful world. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.